Magandang umaga. With the super typhoon bearing down on the Philippines, radio warnings, evacuations and emergency preparations have begun. So have the rains and moderate winds. Flooded highways in Manila are already causing problems. Flimsy construction in poor areas means roofs have to be tied down. Typhoon Mangud is well offshore, but its winds of more than 200 kilometers per hour and its Category 5 rating have triggered warnings that it could hit the country's main island as the most powerful storm of more than a dozen this year. It has gained strength since sweeping through the island of Guam, where it left hundreds of people homeless. Landfall in the Philippines is expected in a matter of hours. Today, officials had this warning. Well, worst case, those mga lugar na tatamaan talaga. The worst case scenario will bring strong winds that can topple poorly built houses, he says. A storm surge, heavy rains, and flooding. Places in higher ground can expect landslides. It all brings back grim memories of Typhoon Haiyan, which devastated parts of the Philippines five years ago and left 6,300 people dead. As for Typhoon Mangut, it is expected to continue west this weekend, making landfall near Hong Kong. In southern China, which has already felt the impact of several smaller typhoons in the past weeks. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Beijing.